Hello everybody, in this video I want to talk about T for God. This is a VR game which I played on the Oculus Quest 2, it's still in development. Uh, if you want to know more, I'm going to link to it at the top right corner so you can find out more about this. But in this video I want to talk especially about what makes this game unique. Well, not just unique, but in terms of game design wise, revolutionary. Really, something fresh and new that you just haven't seen yet in virtual reality. So first of all, it's a room scale game. Basically I'm in standing, you see this area? I created a guardian, a guardian uh, that uh, for the Oculus Quest, uh, surrounding the area which I can actually play, where there's no other, for example, the chair or the desk. So a safe area which I can play. And the game creates a rectangular area inside that. You can actually see the boundaries that I drew with my controller for the Oculus Quest 2. And basically we're gonna play within this limit. So basically in this game, we will be walking and exploring a kind of a maze tower only inside this space, we're gonna walk without limitations inside the confined space of the level design, which is, was uh, procedurally generated uh, to match actually this really tiny space. So you said, oh, my, how much I can actually walk uh, inside, what I can do in this tiny space? Well, this is what makes this game so special. So I think this area that I drew is like one meter by one meter and a half, something like that, pretty small. Yesterday I actually played it in a larger area, but still, you need to look. So you can see the boundaries, right? The guardian boundaries, you see the blue one, this is what I drew, right? And you can see that the rectangular area of the game was actually put inside. You can actually do it in a larger area if you have a larger area to play. And the game will just adapt to it, all right? As you can see, these are the boundaries. I can't pass it because if so, I'm gonna bump into a wall, I'm gonna bump into my desk, and well, I need to be inside that area. Now, everything in this game, in terms of level design, design for this space that you actually draw. So what you see here, right now, I'm inside a virtual room. This, everything you see here is gonna be inside that tiny area. But because we have a limited space, the game was designed so we have different kind of areas to walk through and we can take elevators to move up and down or left and right inside the virtual space. So what I'm actually doing, you can still see, the guardian uh, border limitations that I drew. You see this in blue? And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just walk. Keep in mind, you play this game without actually uh, being connected to uh, with a cable to your uh, PC, if you play this on PC or with the Oculus Quest 2, because you really don't want cables, because you're gonna turn in left and right, and if you have cables, it's gonna be a disaster. So you play this uh, uh, untethered. So you can see I'm walking uh, through different corridors, right? There's an elevator. I'm going to take an elevator, as you can see. And, uh, but you can see that although they are moving in the real environment, right? Inside this confined face, physically, I'm moving with my legs, guys. I'm moving with my legs physically inside this area. In the game, I'm actually exploring what seems to be kind of a large tower with really many paths that can, I can walk through. So I'm walking and walking and walking, actually just turning around and walking in circles inside the space, but in the game, it really feels like you're exploring a bigger area. And of course, because of that, you won't get any motion sickness because it feels so natural to do in VR, because it's like the real world, you walk and explore. Everything, if you find something on the ground, you just crouch and get it. If you want to peek and look at the side, maybe there's enemy, you just peek. What you do naturally when you look kind of, you know, just behind the wall to look what's there. So now I'm inside an elevator. Everything is inside this really small area that uh, I drew for the game. It's amazing. Everything, the walking, everything that I do is inside this area. Although for me, it doesn't feel like that because I'm just moving, walking around and really feel kind of the sense of height when you do this. Because you're moving, there's no teleportation here, guys. Nothing, no free, fake free movement where your character, 3D character, uh, moves but you don't move. Everything is, is feels real because you're actually moving with your own body in the real world. And this translates to actually walking of your 3D character in virtual reality. Now imagine game like this, for example, an alien game, right? With all these corners in a spaceship and you're kind of and with aliens, you need to shoot them. Imagine a uh, escape room game with this type of uh, uh, design. Imagine also a multiplayer shooter, 
right? Where you can amaze and, you know, just many players trying to kind of find the enemies, you know, and maybe uh, capture areas and everything. The running, the moving, everything happens actually just in this really tiny space. I mean, this, this is a game changer, guys. This type of mechanics uh, will just change so many games for the better. Because right now, many of the games just rely on teleportation, fake free movement, right? And what, when you play this game, you immediately feel that it feels so natural for your body to play a game like this. Because you actually just move your body. And until now, of course, the problem was, well, that people have limited play space. We can't really kind of run. If you want to run, you probably want or cover a big space. You need to use maybe a VR treadmill. Uh, problem with VR treadmill again, this is expensive and big, and of course nobody really wants this in order to, well, maybe someone, but again, this is not really accessible to many. However, this has a limitation, of course, with the treadmill, you can actually run and just walk miles, you know, in the open space because you just move and run in the same place. All right, so in this one, of course, it's different. You can't really do that. But the developer of T4God, which is a single developer, by the way, from what I've read, um, he just thought about how can I actually come up with a unique and interesting and fresh mechanic for a VR game that feels very natural for the medium. Try to think outside the box because everybody just copy pasting the same mechanics from everybody else. That's why I, when I, I wrote an article about it back then, you know, that we need more creative thinking, trying to get outside of the box and think about ideas different ideas that really kind of match the new VR medium and make experiences more interesting and unique. Of course, this is not the only one, but this one is really something different that can really fit different type of genres that built on this core mechanic, like in this game. So finally, I can play a game that feels so natural in VR. I don't need teleportation and just perfect, guys. It's just perfect for VR. Now, I'm not bashing other developers or making, there are many other great games, of course, but this is something that many developers will be inspired by because this is revolutionary. It's so simple if you think about it, but nobody actually thought doing something, you know, uh, like this. Or at least I personally haven't come across this and many others uh, who actually try this were really surprised how actually natural it is in VR. And many of them probably haven't tried something like that either. So this is it. Again, uh, if you want to try it out yourself, uh, go to uh, SideQuest and just write T for God. Keep in mind, the game is still in under development and uh, you can try it out yourself for free. So again, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye-bye.